the very delicate life support systems of the planet, the things that supply us with all of our food, ultimately with all of our oxygen, with all of our waste disposal, are now severely threatened. Stanford biologist Paul Ehrlich warned on The Tonight Show 40 years ago we were overtaxing our planet's ability to support us. He and physicist John Holdren developed a formula called IPAT. The essence of the IPAT formula is that human impact on the Earth equals population times average per capita consumption. About the time Ehrlich was publishing The Population Bomb, a group of MIT scientists were undertaking a groundbreaking study for the Club of Rome. We put together a team of uh, 16 scientists, spent two years trying to understand better the longer-term causes and consequences of growth in population, industry, food production, and so forth. In 1972, release of the Limits to Growth study made headlines. From a very large number of computer runs, making various assumptions, adopting various maxima and minima, there is in fact a general forecast of a breakdown of world society in the first decades of the next century. Results showed the growth in prosperity and population and so forth, which most of us had come to take for granted in the 70s, didn't have long to run. Our computer-generated scenarios all showed this growth stopping in the early decades of the 21st century. And I must say, looking back now, it seems like we're right on schedule. In an empty world, it was a safe bet that growth was making us richer. But we no longer live in an empty world. We live in a full world. Once the costs of that grow, things like pollution and crowding and you know, all of the negative aspects of growth exceed the benefits, then we could refer to that as uneconomic growth and something that is, that is no longer increases the welfare, the prosperity of society.